for the letter. I have read the letter. Do you want me to actually read the letter? Ninety seven Orchard Street was condemned in nineteen thirty five. No one's lived here since then. And we found thousands of artifacts in the building. Overdue library notices in the mailbox, scraps of paper, scraps of newspaper, rats' nests. One of the things we found was a love letter, a torn love letter. The seat of my pants is still hot. The seat of my pants. The seat of my pants is still hot, where your lovely papa left the mark of his brogans. But love laughs last. Saturday night, I'll give the usual whistle. Pack your suitcase and we'll elope and be married. <laughs> what was that? What's a broken? Uh, I, I read that as a boot. It peaked in usage. Um, oh, wow. It peaked in usage in the 1950s? But it began to really take off in the 1910s. Sounds like he kicked him in the pants. The roll's rough. I think it was uh, what in, in my teen days would have been called a hoopty. And that's why they use the term Rolls Rough, because it's like a joke. Right. Uh, like, he doesn't have a Rolls Royce. Doesn't have a nice car. So on the Love Tour, visitors get to go into 97 Orchard, look around, visit some apartments of families who live there, and hear stories of love over 150 years. She didn't run away with him. She didn't run away with him. No. She can't do it. No. Have you ever written a love letter? Oh, Jesus. Oh. Didn't you write? I could shush. Movie? I've written some some bad ones. I've written some stinkers in my day. Wait, give me this for a second. I want to take a look at this. The usual whistle. He's got his own whistle. Anything else? <laughs> 